the Tesla Model Y is now available in Europe. So Tesla updated their website, and if you live in Europe, you can actually go online, configure your Model Y, and actually get it delivered by September. So the only models you actually have available are the long range and the performance variants. These will actually be shipping from China. They will have the HEPA filter built in for bio weapon defense mode, whatever they call it. But basically it's a Model Y that will be shipped to Europe. Now this isn't the one made from Giga Berlin, of course, because that building is not not actually fully up and running yet because of a lot of local regulations and just bureaucratic practices that are getting in the way. And this is really exciting news because now Europeans can actually get the Model Y, which I would personally consider to be the best value Tesla you can actually buy today. So one option you don't actually have for Europe is you can't get a seven seater Y. You can only get a five seater. So if that's a deal breaker, you might want to wait for the Berlin Gigafactory. But as far as I know, I think even in China, they don't have the seven seater Model Y yet. It's just the five seater. So that's why in that factory, they're only producing the five seater. And that will be the one that will be shipped to Europe. This car will have the 2170 cells, just like the ones built in Fremont. It will not have the new 4680s because obviously this is from China. It's not a Berlin vehicle, but when it does come from Berlin, it will likely have the 4680 cells. Now, for the most part, you won't really notice a difference if you buy this car versus the Berlin variant. The only thing that is different is probably just the paint that you'll actually see. But that'll obviously come when Tesla opens their Berlin factory and they introduce their new redefined paint shop. But until then, we just have to wait. We just have to get these vehicles from Shanghai. And apparently these cars are actually better built than the ones from Fremont. So it's a good thing that they're not exporting the Model Y from Fremont. It's a good thing that they're actually importing it from China instead to Europe. So overall, this is just great news for Europe and Europeans. Now you can finally order a Model Y and actually get it this year. It's been over a year since Model Y came out. Europeans have been anxiously waiting for it and now you have the opportunity so moving on tesla has introduced a new version of a model y in china called a standard range now we had this in the usa for a small period of time earlier this year now it's obviously gone it's not available anymore but in china they have actually introduced it it will have a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack giving it a longer range about 280 miles or about 455 kilometers wltp but you can reduce about 10 15 percent off that wltp and you get your range now the good thing about this vehicle is that it will have the LFP battery cells, which would mean you could charge this car to 100% every single day. This is just gonna give you a lot more versatility and it brings the starting price of the Model Y much lower. Basically bridges the barrier to entry to get a Tesla and makes it so that a lot more people can afford this vehicle. So the Model Y in China is actually an updated version than the one we have in USA. The one in China actually has a HEPA filter, a proper HEPA filter with bioweapon defense mode, which we know that only the Model S and the X had it, but now it's coming to the Model Y. And this is going to be great because you could just buy about a $42,000 Model Y in China when you convert it to US dollars. That's after incentives. And that will have basically all the features of basically the performance Model Y just without the actual performance aspect. With the HEPA filter, sunroof and everything, which is actually great because that's an incredible value for your money. Now, one other thing I want to add is that because of the HEPA filter that's in the Model Y, it looks, at least by this image here, that the front is slightly smaller. I don't know if it's just shallower or if it's just the size itself that's smaller, but because you have to fit a big HEPA filter in, the front looks slightly smaller. Now this could just be the image, but it's safe to assume that because you have a HEPA filter, it should be slightly smaller. And you can expect the HEPA filter to come to the US made Model Ys later this year. Europeans go out, order the Model Y if you obviously don't care about the 4680 cells. And honestly, you won't actually feel much of a difference between that car and the 4680s. It's just internal differences and you won't really notice a difference either way. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.